Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and Module 3 Reactive Chemistry. We're going to continue our study of redox equations by looking at a few more half equations. Probably the most important thing to talk about here is that each of these values in the table is set by uh, creating a standard. The standard half cell is the hydrogen half cell, that is hydrogen ions combining with electrons, so therefore being reduced, to form hydrogen gas. We've arbitrarily set that as a value of zero volts. Okay, no it's not, but that's the, that's the zero point. So when you um, look in the next video at the table of standard reduction potentials, you'll see that particular reduction half equation right in the center of the table. Everything above it in terms of reduction potentials is a negative value and everything below is a positive. And when we look at that video, we'll look at what that means in a little more detail. For our purposes in this particular video, what we're going to be looking at is the combinations that when we put them together, help us to uh, make predictions about whether or not a reaction is going to occur and whether or not we can generate any voltage from a galvanic cell. So let's look at magnesium. When you look at uh, magnesium solid and magnesium solid forming magnesium ions and two electrons, then we have an oxidation occurring here. The magnesium has to lose two electrons in order to become magnesium ions, and therefore it's been oxidized. The most important thing we need to remember is that the electrons must cancel out. So we need to make sure that the numbers of electrons that are being lost is equivalent to the number that are being gained. If they're not, then we may need to multiply one or other of our half equations by a particular number in order to ensure that they are the same. Note, however, that we do not multiply the E0 value. We may have twice as much hydrogen, we may have 20 times as much hydrogen, or 40 times as much magnesium. We don't have 40 times the potential difference because the key is in that phrase potential difference. The potential difference is the difference in potential between the two metals or the two substances. That's what you need to uh, keep in mind. That difference is a difference. It's not a total amount. It's just measuring a difference. So if we had a little, um, say, AA battery, a little dry cell battery, and we multiply that to be as big as the room, it would still produce 1.5 volts. It would just last for a little bit longer. So the E0 values are the ones that we can read from the table that we'll have a look at. And I'll show you a more specific example later on. For now, we need to make sure that we've got one reduction, one red, and one ox, so that when we put them together to get a balanced redox equation, which is usually a net ionic equation because it contains ions, that when we put these together, we can actually add the E0 values together to get a total value um, for this particular reaction. The key is in the sign and the size. The sign indicates whether or not this reaction is spontaneous. If it is positive, positive is spontaneous. Negative is no reaction. So if the value that we end up with is a negative value, then the substances will not react. In this case, they do. In fact, the size, 2.36, is actually quite large. And that's telling us that this is a pretty um, violent or at least spontaneous reaction. And in fact, we know that it is. When you put magnesium solid into a solution containing hydrogen ions, a common acid will provide that for you. The reaction is immediate and very obvious. We see lots of bubbles of hydrogen gas being produced and we find that the uh, magnesium has displaced the hydrogen from the solution. This is of course an example of a displacement reaction. But it's not just a displacement reaction, it's also a redox reaction. As we saw previously, the hydrogen has an oxidation number of plus one. Magnesium, because it's an elemental form, is a zero. 
magnesium is a 2 plus is 2 plus of course and hydrogen in its now elemental form as a diatomic element is 0 so on our number plane magnesium has gone from 0 to 2 plus so it's been oxidized hydrogen has gone from 1 plus to 0 so it's gained an electron and been reduced we have an overall redox couple here and we know that this is a spontaneous reaction because it has a nice large positive E0 value. We'll explore these in a little bit more detail in the next video. Thanks for watching.